Hello everyone, my name is Paul and and we're back. Pokemon Y Shiny Hunting episode 349 Rotom. If you didn't watch the last episode, why didn't you? And before we get into this episode's topic, I just want to remind you on the nickname for when I ever get these shiny forms of Rotom. Remember, we're hunting for six of them. Uh, one for one being the normal Rotom, and then the other five being the other five forms it has. So let's start off with the normal Rotom name. That one is going to be named Straw Tom, and I'll explain what the whole straw part has to do with the name after I say the name. So anyway, then when it's a fan, um, a fan Rotom, it's going to be called Straw Fan Tom, and then for the lawnmower, it's going to be Straw Mo Tom. Then for the um. For the oven, it's going to be Straw Roast Tom. Then for the washing machine, it's going to be, if I can even fit it in the name, I mean, uh, Straw Washing, Washing, no, yeah, Washing Tom. If I can't fit Washing, then I'll fit, then I'll put Wash in uh, Straw Washing, Washing Tom. And then for the refrigerator. I'm pretty sure it's straw contain Tom. It's one of those. Uh, but anyway. But anyways, yeah. So, <laughs> so the reason why uh, if you didn't watch the last episodes for the uh, last week when I did the Rotom episodes. Um, the reason for like the whole straw part is because it, every of its forms, uh, its color has like a strawberry applesauce color, so that's where the straw comes in. And then of course the tom at the end is, um, is the end of the name Rotom. So I thought it was pretty clever, honestly. Um, but anyway, <laughs> just want to remind you on the nicknames, just so I I should probably do that um, from now on. It sounds like a pretty professional thing. But anyways. So anyway, the top, this episode's topic is by me. It's a life tip, so I'm just going to say it. So pretty much, don't let others influence you with bad or evil intentions. Um, a lot of examples like this, like how specifically my best friend and his family, they do like a lot of bad stuff like, you know, smoking, drinking, uh, even my best friend says like the n-word a lot and he's not black, he's white. Uh, so that's just uh, straight up wrong. Uh, and a lot of other stuff like that so uh, no matter how close you may be to someone don't let them influence you especially if it's evil or bad intentions so um, yeah so <laughs> if, if you're able to even like stray from that still like not uh, still be yourself um, then you truly are a pure, a pure person uh, but anyways so yeah I thought I'd just mention that just just in case if you ever thought I was personally evil or anything like that for some reason just because I hang around people like that or watch people like that, no. I make sure to stay pure um, no matter what. So yeah. So anyways. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for that life tip. I thought it was very important that you all know that. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, so I'm going to talk about sprite progress I got done yesterday so I'm guessing that this first episode and pretty much the episodes for the whole uh, sprite series like the series whenever I, I can't wait until I release it so I can finally say the freaking name of the series because I'm not spoiling it I'm not spoiling it um, but anyways uh, so far the images there's almost about as many images as I have videos on my channel so yeah, there's a lot, and I don't even want to say that it's even halfway done yet, because I, there's a lot more walking to create, and dialogue, and it's going to be crazy, but it's going to be absolutely beautiful. You will see, you will see, and when it launches, oh man, I don't know, I might be one of the greatest when you see this, seriously. It's very impressive, it's like a, it's like a mini movie, just its first episode, imagine all the other episodes gonna be pretty crazy pretty crazy and of course um, this first episode of course is not gonna have an opening to it like I said a while ago but the other episodes of the series definitely gonna have an opening 
uh, maybe not in the beginning of every season, like episode one, maybe for every season I won't like put an opening just so it doesn't spoil anything, but then again you're already going to know about the characters and all that. But maybe I should put it for like people who, no, if you haven't seen, if you even missed one episode then you should straight up just like go back and watch it. That's just how like I am, if anyone, I don't just go say and uh, I don't just try to uh, make up just because you, you know, missed an episode. No, you go watch that episode and don't freaking expect me to like absolutely fill you in on everything because that's your fault for not going and watching. So anyway, so I, I just want to mention that. But I got a lot of progress done. Very awesome. Uh, I think I had about like three hours of work done on it yesterday. Which is pretty nice. But anyway, yeah. So, alright, so now moving on to Artichin's training. So I did, of course, and I think I'll be able to uh, remember from now on to use the experience point power. I'm surprised, uh, maybe the experience point power doesn't level up. I don't know. I really don't know if it levels up or not. But I've used it like, hey look, refrigerator. <laughs> nice. Straw contain Tom. Well, it's not shiny, but yeah. That's just what the name would be. I just, I'm, I gotta watch like the last uh, Rotom episodes because I forget what is the exact name I agreed on because I feel like it was Straw Contain Tom but maybe it wasn't. I have no idea. But anyways, um, yeah. So anyway, back to the whole Artichin training. So I think, uh, I don't know, maybe he gains more experience because he's not evolved or something like that because he's not traded he's I'm his original trainer um so I don't know why, how he gets so much experience and he, he gets like a truck like when you see him when I show him off probably today because I most likely be able to finish training him to level 100 today because he's at like level 86 right now I think almost level 87 and he can really put in the work <laughs> Even though he's not evolved, he can he can absolutely body, like, seriously. Um, the only thing that really sucks is, if you don't know, his ability, him and Arch Archeops' ability, um, it's, that's the only ability you can get on the Arch and Archeops, they're only one. It's called the Fetus, and if you haven't seen it before, then pretty much, um, if the users, the user with that ability, has half or less health, their stats, um, you know, half. So it's like, I don't know if Arch and Archeop is like super powerful. Otherwise, it's like Regigigas. But Regigigas is like a legendary, so maybe the Arch and Archeop is like a pseudo legendary. That would be cool. That would be interesting. But either way, whether he's a pseudo legendary or not, his moves, oh my god, I would never expect an Arch and or an Archeops to have these moves learned by level up. Like, seriously, it's pretty insane. Pretty freaking insane. Um, you'll see it today when I show him, show him off. Uh, he's just so crazy. And of course, before I did all that training, I made sure to take care of him and Pokemon Amy. Give him three Pokepuffs and give him a lot of pats and love and all that. And, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, anyways. Um... So let's see, what was I what else was I gonna say? Um Yeah, and also I've decided with the Sprite series, uh, remember when I said I was only gonna do five seasons? Well, I really want to I know it's gonna take a very long time for the I don't think uh there are like moving Pokemon sprites in um Fifth generation Pokemon Black, White, and Black 2, White 2. I don't think there's sprites available for that because you don't really see any uh, any Pokemon. There's like there's not any games that have like the Pokemon following you, um, like Heart Gold and Soul Silver. The only reason that works with like uh, Generation Four and below is because that game, like I said, Pokemon Heart Gold and Pokemon Soul Silver uh, have all Pokemon you're able to like transfer over there from one to fourth first generation to fourth generation so um for like fifth and above I think I'm going to just straight up if they don't already exist just create my own Pokemon sprites for those Pokemon that exist in those generations so 
you may see up to seven seasons actually because it may take a long time but I'm I'm dedicated of course we got to get through the first four seasons first um, but it's just something to like let you know because I was thinking about it in the shower I was like okay I said I was gonna do five seasons but if there's no Pokemon already made then how am I gonna do that which like I said I will just create them I will if they don't exist already because I doubt that they don't exist um, pixelated sprite forms like the small little 8 bit whatever bit it is, is for the uh, you know for the generation 5 6 7 I'm, I'm sure that someone's created them before if not I'll be really surprised but if they haven't then of course I will go ahead and do my best they may not look the absolute high tech um, and everything because I'm not super good at creating art just out of nothing but I'm gonna try to base them off a few of the other Pokemon sprites and try to like remodel them as best as I can uh, so I don't know maybe that'll make me like a legendary talent maker sprite maker because right now I did of course create some sprites like that are my personal ones but um, but of course it's gonna be like a whole nother story with creating so many uh, I don't think that's going to be like uh, scaring me off. No, I will make sure to be dedicated to doing that. It's just going to take a while, like I said, because if if straight up me uh, creating the ones that I have currently, if that took like about two weeks, then I don't know how long it's going to be taking for creating like every single Pokemon, to, like to have their walking sprites in the overworld. Uh, so yeah. So, I don't know. We will see. We will see. I will do my best, of course. But, let me think. What else am I missing that I wanted to say? Yeah, I think that's pretty much about it. Yeah. So, anyway. Cause I, oh, yeah, that's well, that's why. Okay. Because when I was saying that I was going to create the old Artichin uh, animation of me finding the shiny Artichin yesterday, like in a spray animation, I realize that there probably is no overworld sprites for the pixelated version of uh, Archon, so yeah, I'm gonna have to make those. So it may take a little while, but uh, that will be coming soon because it's just straight up one, so it's not gonna be that bad. It really won't, but um, yeah. But, anyways, moving on to how I'm doing on Pokemon Omega Ruby, I got a lot done, and man, when I um, I got Gulpin trained to level 21, of course, and then I continued to do the whole Captain Stern thing in Slayport City, I completed that, um, and I went back to Mr. Stone back in, whatever the freaking city ca is called, I don't know how I keep forgetting what the city is called, but whatever, the, rock, the one that Roxanne's gym is in, um, so pretty much that one, uh, that's where Mr. Stone is, of course, when you go back to him, after, like, you know, I just was waiting until I got done with the uh, whole Captain Stern, give him the Devon parts. Yeah, he literally doesn't give you anything, so that sucks that they don't let, they don't have that in there. Like, that really does. <laughs> I don't understand why. It's just really disappointing. But anyway, so, yeah. So, uh, I just moved on to go, you know, continue on to Route 10, explored all that stuff. Um, I fought May as well, okay, so it'll be the last one, whether it's an item, or a Rotom, oh nice, a Rotom, okay, Straw Tom maybe, nope, well anyway, if you enjoyed the episode, if you'd be so kind, to support me by donating to my Patreon, as long as you're not putting yourself in a bad spot for doing so, of course, so feel free to, the link is in the description down below, and I'll be seeing y'all later, I've been your host, Fonz the Mayoi, and... Goodbye.